Welcome back, Commander. Yes, sir. It seems that whoever the last person was to have control over that MCV did a rather poor job at uh, keeping it safe. This mission is, I want to say, one of the toughest ones uh, for the Nod Forces. And probably one of the tougher ones just for this um, this expansion in general. Um, not because the AI has like a really cheap um, tactics. It doesn't, you know, barrage you with thousands of units, and it doesn't have like nukes and ion cannons to throw at you all the time. It's just more interesting in how its difficulty plays out. So for the first things first is that we have to actually find the MCV. Um, as is usually the case, I believe it's already marked on the map, but I just don't scroll over to it. My earlier habit of scrolling, you know, up, down, left, right, doesn't seem to be um, something I've carried out throughout this entire LP. Like with a few other maps in the Nod campaign or the Nod missions, um, I actually like this map. It's it, it, it's varied. You've got nice stuff like having a power plant and some laboratory with some defenses out in the middle of nowhere. Um, just adds flavor to the mission. Now there's quite a few units on the map and obviously we don't want to piss any of them off because, well, stealth tanks probably not going to survive through most anything. This is probably one of the more tense moments in any of the missions. Just with how like all the spacing is, how wonky the pathfinding sometimes can be. It's safe to say that this doesn't come up very often, um, where you're given one, a cloaked unit, uh, and two, a base that has, um, just like with how it's designed, you kind of get to see the whole base before you ever have to actually do anything. It's also rather important that at this point the player should understand that you don't want to get within one hex or one tile or cell or whatever unit they use um, of a guard tower. Now this is where the map gets really tough. Um, it won't look like it, uh, other than the fact that I, my stealth tank apparently likes to shoot at my own M MCV. Um, but it's clear that there's nowhere to go. You kind of have to build it within this base. So how exactly do you go about doing that? It's also not very clear as to uh, whether or not, or in this particular case, why exactly GDI doesn't start attacking you. You'd think this would be one of those things where they just start attacking immediately, but apparently not. And because there are so many different buildings and everything, everything's kind of taking up space, you kind of have to be quick on the draw with what you're doing and how you want to go about capturing everything here. 
Because this is honestly the way you're supposed to be doing things. It should be noted that this won't always be the case. And by that I mean the having your tech levels unlocked immediately. Um, or at least, I shouldn't say immediately, I should say permanently. Um, we can see that there's a hand of nod, but we need a power plant for a hand of nod. But we don't have either because they keep getting blown up by the turrets. I'm also kind of screwing up. Like, I should really be selling the hand of nods. Like, the best way to do it is build hand of nod, build an engineer immediately. If you have to, prepare the hand of nod at least a little bit, and then sell it as soon as, you know, the engineer's out of harm's way. You also can't really risk having losses because you've only got five thousand dollars and you really have to make sure it lasts you as long as possible. It shouldn't really come as a surprise that this sort of mission is very tight on income or at least like your cash reserves and I believe there might be a church somewhere. But I can't recall if the church actually has money in it or not. There's a couple other things you have to be aware of as the player. Uh, namely, you want to make sure that what you're capturing, like you're being safe with what you're capturing. Um, and you also want to make sure that you're not going out on some like crazy rampage and attacking buildings that you honestly shouldn't be. For example, there is an advanced comm center, but shooting it kind of puts any everybody into a rage. Which, again, just means that you're going to lose immediately. Construction. If it's not already been apparent, it's kind of a level you want to save scum a little bit. And here I got kind of lucky. I was sure that the advanced watchtower should have been able to do something here. So my plan here is I want to build a turret and I want to build it between those power plants so I can destroy the watchtower, so I can sell the turret or maybe keep it. Um, but the main goal is to capture those two advanced power plants. Unfortunately it's rather hard to do so because, well, we've already seen time and time again that engineers are particularly soft units. Annoyingly, the AI doesn't look like it has any resources because, well, all its silos are empty. Or at least they appear to be empty. So how is it repairing? Who knows? Thankfully, in a duel between a turret and a guard tower, the turret comes out ahead even if it's not repaired. It's kind of close, though.
Now, it might seem like there's quite a lot here on the map for GDI to not be powered out. Um, but there is still an advanced power plant over on the right side of the map, so... I kind of hate when the AI like acts like that. Oh, and hey, I've actually finally managed to power them down. There's essentially no reason to ever like attack these advanced guard towers now. The only reason to do so would just be peace of mind. But honestly, if you're killing the advanced power plant that's over on inside this very base. You should be fine. Building. Building. Now I am rather low on cash, however, uh, construction yard is worth a very nice amount of points. Construction complete. Or cash, not points. Still, it's worth a lot. So. 500 for a $5,000 building, pretty good. I started panicking when I saw that um, those mana tanks move. But, for whatever reason, they just want to go investigate something. Yeah, that was me shooting the advanced comm center and then seeing everything rush towards me. It's kind of a guaranteed loss at that point. And remember how he said you should save often? Yeah. Sometimes the AI just gets like a friendly nudge to screw you over. Yeah, so for whatever reason the developers decided that they would give the AI a APC filled with a bunch of engineers just to kind of ruin your day. Now obviously the easiest way to deal with it is to just build a bunch of sandbag walls. So yeah, they have two engineer rushes that they'll throw at you. Although I believe the one with the Chinook is just a one-time only thing. I will admit I got rather lucky with being able to one, close the wall out, and two, having just enough to destroy all the mammoth tanks and everything that came in to support them. And much like light tanks, advanced guard towers aren't particularly great against medium tanks either. So it, this ends up being just a bait and switch, or using medium tanks as targets.
honestly, if you ever manage to just destroy the mana tanks, it's kind of it for the GDI forces. As long as you don't let them in, like, foolishly, so that they can just, like, capture buildings or um, destroy stuff while you're not paying attention, you're kind of good to go. The only other complicated part is just attacking the um, advanced power plant over on the right side of the map, but it's less complicated and more just time-consuming. Like, if you don't have a sizable force at this point, it just takes more time to build up and drive over there. You know, I almost feel bad for those guys. Probably the only issue uh, with this map is that once you manage to take out the meat of the base, kinda it. And the cleanup in this map is just more long than anything else. So while I go about destroying the advanced power plant, I might as well build some sandbags so that you know, the AI can't send an APC in there again. I was actually kind of curious to see how the AI would react to a completely block off map. But I wasn't sure if it was going to lead to some weird, like, unbeatable scenario. Thank <laughs> you. 